the 128 gigabyte image, the ultimate image. Which one deserves the crown, the number one spot? In this video, we look at my top three plus runner up of the best 128 gigabyte images. Number four runner up, we have Mad Little Pixels 128 gigabyte PlayStation only build. Here you can see I'm looking at an emulation station right now. It's running Motion Blue version four. It's a little old now, but you can totally swap that into your Pi and it'll run just fine. When you load up a track mode, you have two menus, options, and PlayStation. In the options menu, you got all the standard things updated track mode, reboot, uh, retro arc, all that stuff. And when you're in the track mode, you get this beautiful wheel with video snaps. You get 256 PlayStation 1 games. So that's about a half of a gigabyte per game, which is pretty typical for a CD based gaming system. And uh, all the games run great. There's not, there's maybe a couple titles that are a little laggy, but totally playable, totally awesome. And this is a runner up because, I mean, you get to play Pepsi Man and all your favorite PlayStation games, including Quake. Uh, the Ape Escape, all the RPGs, Final Fantasy, you name it. It is running RetroPie version 4.2, and overall, it's a cool, fun image. So, spoiler alert here, Ray's image and Mad Little Pixels Unified layout image did not make the top three. The reason being is they're a little outdated right now, and a lot of people have taken those, kind of taken them apart and put their own flavor on it, and they've added things to it like intro videos, bezels, um, all sorts of pre and so they've overclocked it to start there's a lot of little cool things that people have done along the way that you could totally do yourself with if you're starting out with one of those other images but if you're starting from scratch uh, the, I think this is a bet these are better starter images now at this point so with that said in number three this is I died once 128 gigabyte attract mode image it does run hyper pi so you are going to get emulation station as well, but it was primarily built in a track mode in mind. And that's why I got number three. The funny thing is when I was planning this video, I actually put this in first initially. This had first place. But the more I thought about it and the more it was like an attract mode only, it was more geared towards a track mode. I was like, you know, I really think the other ones are kind of have people who want a track mode and emulation station in mind. So for that reason, this one got third. But let's let's look at some cool things about this. A track mode is beautiful. It has more collections than I've ever seen before. That might be a downside. That might be an upside for you. It's running HyperPi, so you get these beautiful full screen videos. You get video snaps, and then you have a great Hursty Blue emulation station with video snaps as well. It is coming pre overclocked. So for those of you that are a little intimidated by overclocking your Pi, the minute you put this SD card in, you're going to be running at that 1.3 gigahertz which is totally plenty fine. Um, you know, as long as you have an even decent case, you should have no issues whatsoever. This image is rocking a total of 14,430 titles. And uh, it includes a lot of great stuff, like um, I think I believe it has Nintendo DS and a couple other systems that you don't see on other images, like Game & Watch and things like that. And then you still got your super, super classics like Atari, the ZX Spectrum, things like that. Overall, it's a solid choice. One thing that did kind of bug me is that the attract mode setup was more meant for a kid, so a lot of those options were removed. So I think a lot of people that aren't used to attract mode are gonna have a little bit of a learning curve as well. That's another thing kind of going against it, but it has the collections that looks beautiful. It's on a newer version of RetroPie. So for all those things, it's in number three. And in number two, This is Weird Dirty Gaming's 128 gigabyte image. As you can see here, it started out in Space Oddity theme, but you can also go over to Super Display. He took Ray's image and kind of updated it all, made it with some new themes. It's rocking um, RetroPie version 4.3. You do get a little extra space on this one, so you got a couple of gigs to add some things. As you can see, you got all your portables like WonderSwan, WonderSwan Color. Um, you even have your hacked game, so it's Super Nintendo hacked. Uh, you, where you can have like the extra F-Zero games and different Mario games that were made. It also has the Genesis hacks and other things like that. 
It is also using video snaps, so you get beautiful um, previews on all of your games. It also has beautiful um, bezels installed, so when you're playing games, you have that nice bezel, especially on the Super Nintendo and other games that you know you don't want to stretch them out, but you still want them to look beautiful. Um, in addition, it does have pre-installed scripts, so things like adding background music and things like that are already on there. And as you can see here, it has a nice collection of PlayStation, PSP, PSP minis, PlayStation, you got over 26 games here. So it's just got an overall great collection. Another thing going for this image, as I mentioned, it has a lot of obscure things like the PSP minis, the a lot of the Japanese portables, um, a couple other systems that you just don't see on a lot of other images. So it's really nice that way. But I still think it's missing some of the full collections of games. Uh, because this one is rocking a total of 12,915 games, where you're going to see number three had 14,000 and number one has over 16,000. So it's definitely lacking in uh, the total game count. Uh, but like I mentioned, it's up to date. It has the hack games. It has a lot of interesting systems and collections that you don't see very often. It's a very full image in that way, and it's, it's a worthy opponent to all the rest, and that's why it had number two. And finally, in number one, we have Mad Little Pixels 128 gigabyte Hyper Pi. This is running RetroPie version 4.2. I would say that's the biggest downside to it is it is a little, it's been around a really long time, so it's running a little older version. You could definitely update it though. It is running a total of 16,485 games. It not only has a beautiful emulation station, but a beautiful track mode as well. And as I mentioned in some previous videos, it's definitely my top one for all arcade and bar top builds as well. The 128 is a perfect size. You can still get the SD cards fairly cheap. And I just love that this has so many options and it's ready to go out of the box. Now, if this was updated to RetroPie 4.3, maybe a little quick overclock 1.3, added some custom bezels, maybe a custom intro screen, and lastly, updated to the new HyperPie version 2, which is to come out soon, this would be an unstoppable image in my mind. It would take number one again, and it would take a while to dethrone. So there you have it. That's my top three plus runner-up 128 gigabyte images. As I mentioned, I feel like a lot of people like this because it's right at the point where it's still budget friendly, but you get a lot of games. As you saw, you know, a lot of these images are averaging around 13,000 ROMs each, so you can back up all your stuff just fine makes for what they call the ultimate collection so with that let me know what you guys thought what are your top three do you agree with some do you disagree don't forget to like subscribe and we'll see you on the next one